The cameras are fixed to one man. Three goals in his last three games. Will he be hard to stop again? Stay with us on EA TV. Ideal weather conditions for football here in West London. We're at Stamford Bridge. I'm Derek Ray, and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Chelsea facing Burnley. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Well, you really have to have plenty of imagination when you come face to face with this watertight Chelsea defence. Stuart, best record in the league. Well, they press the ball at the right times and then drop off at the right times too, which is key to any good defensive structure. Their tactical understanding is absolutely brilliant, which is why they've conceded so few goals. And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. Jorginho plays with N'Golo Conte in the centre of the park. And operating an attack today is Romelu Lukaku. And this the initial 11 for Burnley. Well, it's the basic 4-4-2 formation, but played well, it can be really effective. And key to its success are the wide midfield players. They have to be fit, they need to be able to run with the ball, and they need to double up with their fullbacks. It's a really tough role for them. It ought to be a really interesting battle. Chelsea kick off. They've given him too much space. He's played his over to the near post. Not all that convincing defensively. And a time for calm on the ball. And space to exploit, maybe. Well, here we can see it again, and no wonder the manager is furious. They just have to get tighter here, deal with the danger, otherwise that's the outcome. Not good enough defensively. It'll be interesting to see whether or not Chelsea can articulate an appropriate reply. Getting forward. see about the cross well pretty straightforward for the keeper you've got to say about Veghorst now, do they mean business on this occasion McNeil a glorious chance and the keeper did magnificently well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Aspili Quetta. Reese James. On to Jorginho. Conte.
Ziyech. James. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. Jay Rodriguez. The delivery. Same pair of hands. Did his job. Lukaku. Habits. Giving them a different option by moving in field. Havertz. Jorginho. Now Conte. Lukaku. Really vital interception here. Jay Rodriguez. Free kick awarded then by the referee. Veghorst. And the keeper taking it cleanly. Veghorst. Well, now I think after all that, they can exhale. Well, he lost his concentration there, but he's just about got away with it. Ziyech. It's a weighted pass. Just couldn't capitalise there. McNeil. Intelligent threaded pass here. Well, he couldn't keep himself onside. Well, he just delayed the pass, didn't he? That was a great opportunity. Really sitting deep now. That could be problematic. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. Well, he was keen to give that one a go. Sadly, lacking a bit of accuracy. Well, this is the home of live football, EA TV, and we have more action coming up from the Premier League for you. It's Chelsea taking on Leicester City. Ziyech. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Lukaku in position. Ah, goalkeeper's ball. Not the best of crosses, really, was it? Jay Rodriguez. Now with Beckhorst. Well, keeping it on the ground. Slightly off target, however. Taylor. The end product just wasn't there. They've regained possession. Ziyech. And the cross comes to nothing in the end. Well, as you can see, Burnley haven't enjoyed the majority of possession, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. Rodriguez, superb block. Thiago Silva. James. And out for a throw in, just misfiring with the pass. Ziyech. Crossing possibilities. And intercepts again. Good bit of pressing. 
Lukaku might fancy it, you know. But it wasn't quite as good as it looked when it was played over. Cork. Veghorst. Rodriguez with it. Careless in possession. So nearing the half-time interval and Chelsea facing a deficit. Stuart, what have you made of their first-half performance? Well, it's been a fairly even first half so far, but they haven't shown enough creativity, particularly in midfield, where there's been too many negative passes. If they can get the ball into the front areas that little bit quicker, I think they'll get back into this. Offside, a tight one. And successfully cut out. Giving the ball away. Chilwell. Havertz. Havertz. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Cork. on the ball and so the first half draws to a close as anticipated plenty of talking points so far and now the second half is underway Phil Bardsley Fluency of movement. Jay Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Just cutting off the supply. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? But really sticking to the task defensively. Intense pressure. A really intense pressure applied. Lukaku. Credit to them for winning back possession. Just a quick reminder, we have more action from the... Oh, he's in behind them here, Derek. Oh, they've done it! A goal for Chelsea, who've got themselves on level terms. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. So back on the way. One goal apiece here. Charlie Taylor. Wout Weghorst. Dale Stevens has it. Rodriguez. And a pass that lacks quality. Now well, they couldn't keep it. Well, as the stats confirm, Chelsea have controlled the ball, but without really creating too many chances. Which, when you look at the players out on the pitch, it's really disappointing. They need to play with far more urgency to win this game. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. McNeil. Well, a fantastic counter-attack as they move through the gears, but not a brilliant end product. Well, everything looked good until the finish, but that shows how dangerous they are on the break. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game.
over the touchline for a throw in so making the substitution now getting in there to intercept in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here and crossing towards the far post well but claimed by the goalkeeper And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. McNeil. A fine reading of the situation. Veghorst. The attack carried an initial threat but fizzled out. Chilwell and the ball's gone delightful pass and it didn't happen for them in attack Veghorst Rodriguez with it and a fine tackle Ziyech Lukaku in position well the keeper performing brilliantly well that's just incredible he reacted so quickly there well, they've decided to make a change how about the short corner? Gives it a go! Oh, it wasn't far away, but above the crossbar. Substitution for Chelsea. Coming off the pitch, number 22, Hakim Ziyech. Coming onto the pitch, number 19, Mason Mount. And into the last 20 minutes. Well, far from the ideal pass. Oh, fine stop. Well, you can't take your eyes off this one, because there you have it. Plenty of chances for both teams in what has been a really good game so far. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Just not looking confident in possession. And continues his run. And crossed in there. Well, that cross was more than acceptable, but they couldn't fire at home. For they will now make use of their substitutes bench. Jay Rodriguez. Well, something has happened in the Everton game. Alex Scott can tell us more. It's a goal for Spurs. It's now 1-0 with 77 minutes played. Thank you, Alex. Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? And now they've got work to do. Well, let's take another look, and it's a very good goal. And they deserve it, you have to say. They've been excellent. What a big moment in the dying embers. Well improved decisive here. Nicely cut out. Now what can they do with the ball? Rather than a free kick, it's advantage Chelsea. Rudiger. Aspili Quetta. And slipped through beautifully. Not all that hard to 
deal with crosses like that. Strong play here. Careless in possession. And here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. McNeil. Brilliant save. Well, this might be their final opportunity to draw level. Let's see about the delivery. Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground. And the cross is very much on. Well, space if he goes inside. Westwood. And whipped into the box. No real challenge for the goalkeeper. Well, almost at the end of the game now, it's been a fascinating contest, and it's Chelsea with a very narrow advantage. Stuart, what have you made of their performance? Well, it's been a really good contest, you have to say. But overall, I think they've just about deserved to be in the lead here. Can they now just see this game through for what will be an excellent win? This could square the game, but no, thanks to the goalkeeper, opportunity not taken. Well, you're absolutely right, Derek. The keeper's done really well there, but really that should have been the equaliser, and there's not long left now. And the corner far too close to the goalkeeper. High pressing at its best. And the electronic board has been held aloft. Three additional minutes here. An alert intervention. And the referee blows for a foul. Pulisic. And it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. Lukaku in position. And the danger's still on. And that is...